Social protection is, is critical for African countries. Africa is going through very significant economic and social transformation. We have seen over the past uh, decades uh, sustained growth, but that growth has not translated into a meaningful reduction of poverty and inequality. In fact, what we see is an increasing divide between the have and the have nots in, in the Africa region. And social protection comes in as a critical instrument, not only to reduce current poverty and to tackle inequality, but also to promote the investment in uh, human capital and productivity in the long run to provide opportunities for a wider share of the population to actually benefit from the opportunities that growth is going to bring to countries in the region. So the biggest challenge is, is really how to coordinate social protection systems so that the combination of contributory and non-contributory schemes can lead to universal uh, protection for, for all. And in that sense, um, as we know, institutional coordinations in public administrations is, is very complex, uh, but it, it provides uh, huge opportunities to actually see um, how uh, different parts of social protection systems uh, can, can join forces to extend coverage for all. We oftentimes tend to think that social protection is only for the poor or the extreme poor, and this is completely false. Uh, all individuals need social protection regardless of their socioeconomic status and their status in the labor market. The question is how to provide a ladder of social protection options that people can access, some of which for the most vulnerable and poor, fully tax financed, and others where they can ex exercise their capacity to contribute through their own protection, to their own protection, but still enjoying some levels of solidarity in the system that, uh, uh, that, that protects those who, who are more vulnerable. Thank you.